Dunedin is known as a student city, but while thousands of young people study towards their chosen careers, others are floundering. The city's unemployed youth have caught the attention of various community leaders. An Otago Community Trust Chief Executive Barbara Bridger says youth wellbeing has become a top priority. We just thought it was a great idea to get everyone in the room who operates in that sector and in that space together for a day to actually brainstorm what actually could take place and what differences could be made and what initiatives could arise out of that type of forum or discussion. Bridges says there are already some successful programs in Dunedin for unemployed youth, as well as education and training opportunities to help young people decide which career path they want to take. But she says the youth unemployment statistics aren't improving. So clearly we're doing good things, but we, we've still got the problem. So, you know, the idea of today was, well, what else could we do? And the Trust in particular is really interested in seeing uh, the development of collaborations and partnerships. Those at the workshop included police officers, city councillors and social development professionals. Some spoke about how to engage young people in the early stages of employment and provide positive role models. And Bridges says work already being done could be enhanced through a collaborative approach. Organisations all over Dunedin are doing really good things, but we do wonder perhaps could they do something even better and bigger if they were talking to each other. So the outcomes of the workshop will be compiled into a report and Bridges says that will help guide a number of initiatives to tackle the problem of youth unemployment over the next few years. It would be nice if we came out at the end of the day with one solution that's going to solve all of the, you know, the city's youth unemployment problems, but we know that that's not re the reality. And with so many people keen to see a change in Dunedin, the city's youth might find themselves heading in a more positive direction. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.